Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, I'm going to make a video on Adlam Pluto SDR. Uh, this specific video, I think I haven't made a video on it. How I can use the functionality of my Adlam Pluto SDR in both transmitting and receiving mode. All right. So the idea is how can I use this Adlam Pluto SDR as a transceiver? I can repeat, I can transmit and receive at the same time because as we know hack rf does not have this capability uh, because it can only transmit or receive but our adlam pluto sdr this can transmit and receive simultaneously so it's actually a full duplex system so as you can see the light is blinking i have connected this to my laptop and I'm, we're going to use the functionality full duplex functionality of adlam pluto sdr quick thing uh, the Adlib Pluto SDR, I think, is starting off from 325 megahertz all the way up to 3.4 gigahertz, roughly speaking, if I'm not mistaken with the number. Second, um, uh, you can play around with the firmware and you can get the firmware to go up to 6 gigahertz as well. So, in order for me to test the functionality of a Pluto SDR transceiver, uh, this is the flow graph which you can see on the screen. Uh, the flow graph is quite basic. Uh, there is nothing fancy on it. Uh, the flow graph is like this. I have a signal source, which is nothing but a cosinusoidal source that has a frequency of 150 kilohertz. This frequency is being controlled by a GUI slider, uh, which is so you can you can change this frequency as you go along uh, with with the help of a slider. Second, uh, it has a receiver gain parameter and a transmitter attenuator parameter. So this is a GUI range slider for your frequency. So you can change this on a runtime and you can see the change. Same thing with the transmitter attenuation, same thing with receiver gain. I am transmitting this signal at a lower frequency, local oscillator frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. And I'm receiving at exactly at 2.4 gigahertz. So this is the transmitter part where I have Pluto SDR sync, which is connected to my signal source. And that is connected to a time sync only. While Pluto SDR source is connected to both time sync and at the same time frequency sync as well. And here, uh, to control the gain, I'm using RX gain parameter. All right. So I'm using an RX gain parameter right here. Let me just click OK. All right. So I'm using an RX gain parameter. and uh, at the receiving end and as you can clearly see i'm using uh, so so this is being controlled here with rx gain and the transmitter attenuation is controlled by this slider which is part of your pluto sdr sync so during runtime while the flow graph is still running i'll be able to change things so the thing that you need to remember at the transmitting end, we're only connected to time sync and at the receiving end, we're connected to both frequency and time sync. So that's what you need to focus. Now, the next thing we need to do, I'm just going to simply run this flow graph. All right. So let me just zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom in. All right. So I'm just going to simply run this flow graph and just hit play button. All right. Now, as you can see, this would, the, the, the blinking of the light will change. Now, here's how the flow graphs look like. So, let's turn, let's lower down my, so let's just turn off the attenuation first. So, there is no attenuation right now. And let's try to figure out. So, I know this one is the receive signal because based on the spike that I'm receiving, this, this major spike. All right, why am I seeing these spikes as well? The reason we're seeing this spike as well, because if you were to closely look at my Adlam Pluto SDR, both transmitting and receiving antennas are very close to each other. That's why you have different type of harmonics which is being generated here. And so what we're going to do, based on the spike that I'm, based on the highest spike that we're seeing, I'm just going to put my marker here. And I can clearly see this is at 0 0.149 megahertz, which I mean to say it's around uh, 150 kilohertz. Indeed, it is the frequency that I'm transmitting right now, All right? We just simply lower the amplitude down. Uh, so 150 megahertz, all right? So this is what I'm seeing based on the biggest, highest spike that I'm seeing on my flow graph. Now, I can change the frequency a little bit. And uh, so let me just move the frequency. All right, let me just go down and change the frequency. 
let's go a little bit higher at about 210 kilohertz and as I'm moving the frequency you can see this big spike is also moving so from right here so this is at around 240 kilohertz this is my signal 240 kilohertz all right now the next thing I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lower down my RX gain and so I can see the effect of it so I'm just turning off my gain turning off my gain so which of these GUI I forgot to label them which of these GUI based on when I turn on the receiver gain this the amplitude strength is going down it looks like this one so this is the one that is being receiving the signal so this is the this is the GUI time sync that shows that this is actually what signal is being received so my signal strength is going down all right now I can also start attenuating my signal from the transmitting end so if I were to move this slider now the signal is completely gone so this is the attenuation functionality of a transmitter side which we have included using a slider now when I increase my gain I can see my signal is going up 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 and there's a limit to it and you can just zoom in let's see zoom in this is what I'm seeing as a signal and of course when you are when you are actually improving your RX gain the other harmonics that is also being amplified as well you can see these other things it seems like if you were to closely look at it some type of a modulation is taking place and if you were to look at this transmitter flow graph even if you were to look at this closely they were sort of looking like a uh, amplitude modulation and you can clearly see this is at around 240 kilohertz and if you were to look at it this is at around 200 uh, 80 kilohertz about 40 mega 40 kilohertz here 40 kilohertz here so it's not supposed to happen because we're just simply transmitting a tone and receiving it but the antennas are so close to each other uh, there is an effect and that's why you're seeing these extra peaks and uh, uh, because they are being so close at the same time by by just increasing the gain of my receiving antenna I'm also amplifying these things uh, these harmonics as well so if I were to lower down my amplitude of course my signal is strength and time domain is shrinking down but I can hear, rarely see any harmonics but it's still due to the frequency I'm still seeing the amplitude modulation effect so uh, I hope you like the small video uh, on on how you're going to use Pluto transmitter uh, how to make a Pluto SDR based transceiver system uh, if you have any questions uh, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel